Jaina versus Jaina. Seven wins. Mage ball starts. Or might start. Might not. We'll see. Well, that's a way better hand, especially going first. Decent 4 drop. Just have to pick up a, something to play on 3. Well, this lines up quite well. Oh. Got a 1, 2, 3, 4 going first. That's really good. It's pretty good against like all my minions here, but I'll just continue to. Uh, or will I? So if I double trade, because hitting his face for three doesn't do anything, because the zombie child will probably die anyways. I think I can double trade. If he wants to kill my Crusader next turn, he probably spends like 3 mon mana on the Fire Blast. He has the coin, so he could come up with another 2-drop. But he basically spent 3 mana on reducing this, and gives me the chance of developing my fire uh, my Water Mental while I still have this around, and something to deal with his 4 or 5-drop. Okay, <laughs> well. Now I only have spells. Great, and I don't, I seriously don't want to duplicate this. Wow. This, this dream hand turned into a garbage hand. <laughs> Pretty quickly. This is so much reach, but... Uh, can't seriously go for it. As soon as I'll pick up a good minion, maybe I should sacrifice this. Let's see. Don't have to. Would have been suspicious, I think. On the other hand, it might have been the better move. Okay, he pings it anyways. Choga, choga. Oh, this is a lot of card draw. Like this and the Azure Drake. Could have traded these in against the flame strike. I have my own flame strike though. Okay. Get in there and fight, what a weird game. I guess I'm going with one of the fireballs. Still don't have a duplicate the bull minion. I drew like no. Yeah. My biggest drop so far was a water mantle. Hmm. At least I might be able to like pump this mana warm up quite a bit. But he has eight cards. Seven with coin. Against my one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'll have to get a good flame strike, I guess. Face, face, more face. For the crusade. Good thing. Don't mess hmm. with Is this good enough for a flame strike? Oh man, how can I only draw spells? Kill two cards. Kept the tempo up. Got a little bit more card advantage. Got one more damage in. Xbox, 
Something needs tinkering? I barely see my frost bolts in all these games. Huh. Okay, that's probably the best duplicate that I will get quite some time. Let's just do I want to use any of these. Uh, I would rather keep it for bigger minions. He still has cards. Um, really hope that these cards are not Chasm Mystics or something. You love my new recipe. Interesting. Second flame strike! Go! <laughs> uh, this might be one of his. Hmm. I guess I have no choice then. Checking for it. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, it looks like this was a fireball rather than a flame strike. Oh, polymorph, okay. So I don't have to be afraid of a fireball, I suppose. Uh, of a flame strike. Should have done this like two turns ago, I guess. We all have a lot of small stuff here. Oh, finally something bigger. Hmm. Protecting my 6-6. Six, six. This is the weaker minion as long as he doesn't draw a spell. One shot. Okay. One I probably would have put it on this, but fine. Well, it's not the best result, but there won't be big boards to freeze anyways, and this way I keep this healthy, get six damage and it's good enough. Still have an answer to something big. Okay, he really hopes for, I don't know, drawing a Pyroblast, I guess. If he has a Pyroblast in the deck, I'm a little bit afraid. Because of the three times face arcane missiles into Pyroblast would have been a hilarious ending for this arena. Ouch. Nice. Jaina versus Uther. I will fight with honor. You asked. That's an interesting opening. I think I keep it. Kept two cards. Could be something like mini bot. Could be something like a one drop on his side. I think that's a fun combination to keep. Even though it would probably be a little bit better with coin. So I could like coin arcane missiles or something. But giving this like the zombie chow buff. Okay, and now it's Well, maybe just coins master, and it's still a good card. Reporting for duty. 
Oh, okay. You might coin Consecration, but then I at least get to develop my Warrior Elemental. If I wouldn't have drawn this, I would have probably just used Arcane Missiles, go face. And then I got rid of his coin. Oh. If he doesn't have it, be nice. Thinks about mm. using your power again, it seems like. I wonder why he kept two cards and didn't play any so far. That's annoying, kinda. Arcane Missiles could kill it. Hmm. Then I could use current Term Mage. If it doesn't, I have to ping it. Or I just play like it was planned, the War Elemental. Best case of this play is killing this, and I develop this. And then he true silvers, which means I, there's another turn where I can't reveal this. I have a 2-2, two, 4-3. Two, I could deal with almost any 4-drop though. Runs out on me. I would have to kill this, so I would trade here. He didn't coin Consecration, but okay, let's just see what happens. That's the better result. My one mana card killing is two mana card. That's like the definition of tempo. If he coins a 4 6. Probably have to trade these two in. Play the warder. Hmm. It's not easy. However, I don't have a 5 drop anyway, so this looks quite good. It's probably not the turn that he wanted to do. Reporting for duty. Mm. Could put some pressure on by using this, but I won't because of True Silver. I don't have to be afraid of True Silver next turn. Although might have been, would have been four. Set up for a crusher, I guess. What is the six drop now? Want him to. Okay. Hmm. Would like to play him a lot of small minions. My blizzard. Hmm. I think blizzard might still be worth it. Yeah. Sets up lethal. <laughs> it's good enough. And sets up for a crusher. Six, nine, thirteen, fourteen. Ah. Reporting for duty. Still have two fireballs in the deck. Paladins tend to have a lot of healing. Or can have a lot of healing, I should say. Uh, if I ping this, I cannot use any of these, which I would really like to. Um, so maybe I just... Yeah. No need to play the fast card, I think. Should I see what the spare part is first? Runs out on me. Yeah, I want to clear the board, that's for sure. For Dalaran. For Blackwood. I feel okay giving him the card. I have a polymorph. Um I play around like every buffing card. Argus, Blessing of Might, Blessing of Kings, Abusive, Dark Iron Dwarf, all these things. 
He didn't have a Peacekeeper, it seemed like. He might have a Big Game Hunter. Frost Elemental. Okay, he might have gotten a Coolant also. This wasn't a good answer. It's 5 damage. Ten, no. Let's do it this way. Freezing him should be worth it. Um, even if he mind control tags, steals the crusher. Still have 9, nine 10 damage. Even if he taunts up afterwards. Um, yeah, as long as the crusher is on, on the way, it's pretty fine. Even if he plays like Guardian of Kings. 5 mana, Arcane Intellect. Three mana to rescue him. Reporting for duty. The victory is yours. Nice. Jaina versus Jaina. You asked for it. My magic will tear you apart. Hmm. Going second, keeping the frostbolt should be a good idea. I hope. We're at 9 wins, so I should expect... Oh, that's... Frostbolt alternative, that's good. And that's coin 3 or maybe 4. Praise the chow. So I should suspect a pretty good deck here. Um... Okay. Good thing I drew the chow, uh, the chugger thing. So I don't have to use the bolt. Oh, that might even be better against his 3 drop. He plays like a 3 3 or something. Scout Crusader would be annoying. That's annoying too. Hmm. That's weird. Mana Worm Ping means I can Frostbolt something next turn. Also, Coin Water Mental will run this into. Uh. If he has to spend another ping on this, he only has two mana next turn. It's helpful enough. If he plays a Yeti or something, I can Frostbolt hit exactly. Get the trade in. Question is Creeper or Chugger? I think Creeper is better later when we come into Flamestrike range. Still can't develop my water elementals. So. Fine. I have a small card advantage. Very small though. Oh. <laughs> he seriously didn't want to tr play this this turn. Pretty sure. No reason to. Ah, uh, Creeper is so bad with the blockhead. But he would have to kill this first then. I cannot really sacrifice it, other than him silencing something. Ouch. This hurts. Well, let's just go face. Or I could kill this. No, I give it charge, basically. Oh, forgot to ping. And in case of a flame strike, I wouldn't know. Yeah, I should have hatched against a flame strike. Oh. Well, that's interesting. No divine shield. Aww. That's a pretty good five drop. 
Ah, four drop. <laughs> the stats look like a five drop. Oh, his flame strike. The light compels. Oh. Decent enough. Good thing is my Stormwind Champion next turn. Yeah. Oh, that's a tight battle right here. Um. Maybe I should wait one more turn. This, the mana worm is pretty bad against this board. What to do? What to do? Behold the might of There's a lot of stuff he wants to ping now, and I'm pretty sure that he doesn't have a flame strike. These are two fresh cards. This might mean that he isn't able to kill my stormwind champion. Yep. Force tank max. Huh. No polymorphs, no fireball so far. But that's pretty good. Uh, I want to ping this. Then I cannot play any of these. That's probably okay. I mean, that's a 10 10. If he hits this, then I can ping it. It's still a 9 9, kills him. Looks decent so far. Interesting card. Oh. Huh. This was an interesting game. Which he pretty much lost because of the leper gnomes, I feel like. He ran off, out of cards quite quick because of it. Well, and because I drew two flame strikes. Both my flame strikes in the first half of the deck. Which was really helpful. The duplicate wasn't as good as it could have been. Having an army of mana worms weren't too bad either. Do I want to keep my mana worm here? Go first, I would need a three. I might have with these two cards I might have to ping something turn three to get rid of it. This sets me back quite a bit though. Well let's keep it. I have so many four mana spells. <laughs> like a polymorph. Maybe something like turn three, hit, ping, mana worm into polymorph, his yeti, make this a two three. Get three cards, it's a little bit scary. What to do? I just realized that a few cards never show up. These are like Frostbolt, Unstable Portal, and Blackwing Corruptor. I'm not sure if, like, <laughs> if I'm happy or sad about this, but these are cards I, I almost never see. While like Zombie Chow, Mana Worm, Chugga. I have two Chuggas, right? So, yeah. It's more likely for them to show up. I saw the Crush. I definitely saw the Crusher more often than these cards. <laughs> see exactly what I said. Turn 3 ping something, because I didn't get a 3-drop, but even with a 3-drop, this on the board against these two cards is pretty annoying. But the good thing is he coined it out. 
So he only has a 3 drop this turn, which means that War Elemental might... will potentially go down. Oh yeah, definitely. I get a lot of freebies here. He might have arcane missiles for setting this up. But I have arcane missiles. <laughs> nah. It's also quite bad against Cone of Cold, I guess. Might have been a Cone of Cold setup too. But then I still have the Warrior Mental. And these two cards already killed his cards. And this got two damage in, so... Value values, I can't complain, even if he kind of calls here. I wonder. Problem will be to deal with his 5-drop then, but... Okay. <laughs> I might freeze my own water elemental. Yeah, why not? I'm developing this before a possible flame strike or blizzard should be really helpful. Like getting the board full. I should definitely trade if if I have to. Might play mind control tech though. No, okay. This is a weird card. Because I cannot ping it. Uh, how much damage is it? 5, 7, 8? And another 11. Could potentially kill him at some point. Uh, I guess I go all in. Hit this thing, hit this thing, hit this thing. Ah, five, okay. Three, two. Yeah, like I said, I, I basically have to trade. I have this, so this is a three one. He wants to ping these two. That's good for me, basically. And I have another freeze, freezing thing if I have to do this. I still have two fire elementals in the deck. Uh, fire bolts. So I might be able to finish him off quickly, but I have to draw them, of course. 2 out of 21. Please play a Sunwalker. Please. Just play a Sunwalker. Pay attention, class. Eh. Might be big enough for a sheep, though. Do I want to play this into a flame strike? No, I can't because I... Okay, this survives flame strike, this survives flame strike. If he plays a Sunwalker now, I can at least trade these two, get another 3 damage in. Arjun Commander, Fireball, Fireball, Draconite Crusher, and maybe Stonewind Champion are the cards I'm looking for right now. Okay. Six, seven. I might have to kill this though. Yeah, the spell damage might be annoying at some point. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, you guys will say, okay, yeah, your prediction was below so much again. But I'll say that these two losses came in the first, like, I was 5-2 the first seven games. And then I won just four in a row. So it could have been, like, went easily, like, 6-3, 7-3, 8-3, 9-3, 10-3, 11-3. There's that. But final boss and final game. This way or the other. Dana. 
And another mage. Let's see, that's the third mage in a row, right? Um, so my last four games were mage, paladin, mage, mage. It's like the cliche. Huh. Okay. Mana Worm Coin Chow? No, that's stupid. I kept this last time. It's good to keep it this time too, I guess. Interesting fun fact that all these mages didn't have flame strikes, even though they got or didn't play them against me. Even though they were pretty um, high in wins already. Probably just play these two to save the coin for the water. Elemental. It'd be better to save it for a 3-drop though. I wonder. Now I can ping next turn. Maybe I should mana worm coin ping this turn. And this is frozen, this is a 2 3. If he plays it, even if he plays a 4 4, chances chance are really good that I can kill it. I should probably do it this way, even though it looks a little bit strange. If he doesn't play something dangerous, I can develop Crusader into Water Elemental. Oh. Kind of qualifies for being dangerous. Uh, I really want my Crusher now. Now that this card appears. So... Now there are so many pink targets for him at the moment. But on the other hand, going face with this on the board... Doesn't really do much. So maybe missiles? Hit? Ping? And he develops his 4-drop into nothing though. Uh, uh. Pretty get bad against Con of Cult again. This gets frozen, this gets killed, this gets killed here. That's a 2 1 with Death Rattle, that's a 3 1 frozen. But I want to play 4 5 s 7? <laughs> huh. Ouch. Oh well, it's a Yeti. This trade seems a little bit weird. He still wants to ping a lot. I guess developing this should be priority. And now it makes sense to go face. So pretty good minions though. I've pushed this to three. Mm. Ouch. <laughs> this was pretty good. So, Crusher, your time. I need a 6-drop, and I want to play this, so... Meh. Didn't work out. This was good. A 6 against my 6, basically. Ah, uh, maybe I should have traded here. I can leave this on the board for this particular turn. Because it's frozen. Is this big enough for a fireball? I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, but I want to develop the champion next turn, but this will only push this to a 2 3. You can simply polymorph it. I don't really have an alternative though. Hit ping this into his flame strike. Might have been better to pop up the creeper. Ooh, 
so where is my flame strike? Nope. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should have popped it up. Flame Strike, Crusher, and Argent Commander, and Blizzard. Ouch. No. <laughs> oh. Cards, come on. Don't let me down. Oh, <laughs> well, it makes a difference. Yeah. If I ping Fireball, I cannot play any of these. <laughs> Imagine how good a Crusher would be. Amazing. Next question is do I trade or do I go face? If I if I hit this then I lose a lot of reach anyways. Then I can as well just trade here to deny him this trade. Because he pings anyways. Question is what is more valuable for me to get the 6 damage in? Might be. Not completely off the table. That's a 50-50 for him, but nah. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> this would have been really good, I guess. Oh shit. Crusher! <laughs> Blizzard, flame strike. I don't know. Uh, six, nine. Now he flame strikes and I'm dead. That's good. That's fine. We're at 11. Yeah, that's a flame strike. Sure. 11 is fine, and this guy has a really good deck. Uh. Kinda have to draw the crusher, don't I? Can just do this even if the ogre misses. I, wield the power. I need to get rid of his stuff. Harvest Golem lined up good against my board. Um, Kodo was really good, 5-4 Twilight Drake, Sunwalker, Flame Strike against my board, War Golem at turn 7 on an empty board. Yeah, sure. And this is already too much. Eh, it was worth final boss. Wow. This was a disaster. Well played. And it wouldn't have been much better if I had the time rewinder because this tempo still is on the board. If I have a 6-6 six, six, it doesn't change anything. Close to 12. Um, yeah. Well it was obvious that the deck was pretty good um, on the card quality side that it could go this far. So I had a lot of good mage cards, flame strikes, water elementals, a frost ball that most of the time didn't show up anyways. <laughs> two polymorphs with two hard removals and like two fireballs which can also count as hard removals. Uh, a blizzard to stall and to kill some stuff, so two chugas, the elementals, um to yeah. To stall some stuff also, even if it gets killed. So, on the long run, I had a pretty good tempo deck that pushed for board control and then just won by hitting again and hitting it again and hitting again and finishing either with like spells in the end or just by having board control until the end. Crusher was a very valuable card. Um, I never saw, I basically almost never saw the unstable portal. 
which would have been like more fun, more RNG for the game, right? But on the long run, was pretty good. Um, turned out a little bit better than expected, because. But like I said, these two losses came pretty early, and this like games like this could have happened a lot of more often. The last game was, yeah, I was pretty much outclassed there. Like the Harvest Golem lined up very well against my stuff. His Dark Iron Dwarf killed my Water Elemental with his... I think it was the Water Elemental, yeah. With his Kodo. The Kodo killed my Chugga. Then he had a Sunwalker, a Flame Strike, could play a War Golem on an empty board, had two Mechanical Yetis, one Ogre Brood, one Fairy Dragon. So, like, all cards that he played were in the upper, I would say, 20% of cards for each mana slot. Whereas mine were maybe in the upper 40, so... And I had some weak cards too. Like the duplicate in the end didn't do anything. But overall it was pretty good. Pretty strong deck, like the usual I hate this mage deck cards. <laughs> and 11 is quite a good result I'd say. Yay, I got a golden dust devil. Wow. Hmm. Hopefully Dust Devil will get nerfed. Nothing too special. 